Hello! Welcome to story time! I am Ms. Megan. It's so good to see you again. Today our theme is going to be sweet treats. Sweet treats? Like what? Hmm, what is a sweet treat? Hmm, like a donut? Yeah, like a donut or a cupcake or ice cream. So many sweet treats. That's what we're going to talk about today. So I can't wait to get started. But there's one thing that we have to do before we get started. <sighs> what do we have to do? Does anybody know? We have to shake our sailies out. OK, are you ready? One, two, three. We got to shake, shake, shake our sailies out. Shake, shake, shake our sailies out. Shake, shake. Shake our sillies out and wiggle our waggles away. We gotta clap, clap, clap our crazies out. Clap, clap, clap our crazies out. Clap, clap, clap our crazies out and wiggle our waggles away. We gotta jump, jump, jump our jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump our jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump our jiggles out and wiggle our waggles away. We gotta yawn, yawn, yawn our sleepies out, yawn. Yawn, yawn our sleepies out, yawn. Oh, yawn, yawn our sleepies out, and wiggle our waggles away. We gotta shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake, shake, shake our sillies out, and wiggle our waggles away. Hey! Great job, everyone! Great shaking your sillies out. You did a great job. Okay, today is week five in our six week series. Our uh, theme today is sweet treats and our featured author today is Todd Parr. Todd Parr has a bunch of books and they all sort of look like this. His art is really great. Um, yeah, I can't wait to share with you. Our first book today is called The Birthday Book. The Birthday Book? Birthday? That's right. When this is when this is uploaded today is Riley's birthday. Happy birthday, Riley! Great job. I can't believe you're turning five today. Hmm. For anybody else watching, when is your birthday? Do we know what month is your birthday in? Hmm. January, February, March, April. My birthday is in May. So why would we choose birthday for talking about sweets? That's right, because we eat cake on our birthdays. We eat lots of sweet things on our birthday. So happy birthday, Riley. We are going to read about birthdays, OK? Here we go. Let's get started. Happy birthday to you. The Birthday Book by Todd Parr. You might be one year old. Happy birthday. There's only one candle. Or you might be 100 years old. That's a lot of years old. Today is the day to celebrate you. Happy birthday. You can eat breakfast in bed. That sounds really fun. Or eat macaroni and cheese in the bathtub. That sounds so fun. You can do all kinds of fun things on your birthday. You can get dressed up. Ooh, she's dressed up like a fairy princess unicorn. Or you can just wear your birthday suit. Oh my gosh, that's a little chaotic. Happy birthday to you! You can celebrate with your family and friends. Look at all of the family and friends. Or you can celebrate all by yourself. You can eat cake! Yes, delicious! And you can make a wish. You might get presents, and you might get hugs. Can you get hugs? Happy birthday to me! 
Today is a day for a birthday party. Do something special or new. Have you ever gone surfing in the ocean? Party like an animal or curl up with someone you love. It's a day to be happy and to think about the things that you can do now that you're older. Happy birthday! Yay! The end! Great job, guys! And happy birthday, Riley! And anybody else who has a birthday today. Great job, guys! Okay, so now we're gonna sing a song called Candles on the Cake. But we need, we need some candles on our cake first. Okay, here's our cake, okay? And here's our candles. Here's how it goes. Candles on the cake, candles on the cake. Blow them out, blow them out. Candles on the cake. Let's blow them out. This one won't blow out. Mm, it's pretty stubborn. Can we blow really hard? Okay, we blew it out, good job! Let's do it one more time, okay? Let's do the other hand. Here's our candles. Candles on the cake. Candles on the cake. Blow them out, blow them out. Candles on the cake. One, two, three, four, five. Great job, guys. We blew out all the candles on our cake. What if we did all 10 fingers? Could we do it? Can we blow out all 10 candles at one time? Okay, here we go. Let's try it. One, two, three. Candles on the cake, candles on the cake. Blow them out, blow them out. Candles on the cake. Are you ready? Let's blow them out. <gasps> Great job! You blew so hard on the candles! I hope your wish comes true. Okay. All right, it's time for our second book. It's called, Should I Share My Ice Cream? This is by Mo Willems, who was another one of our Spotlight authors. All of his books are great. So this is Elephant, and he's trying to decide whether or not he should share his ice cream with his friend. Do you think that Harold should share his ice cream with his friend? Well, that's usually a nice thing to do, right? Hmm, it would be really hard. What if the ice cream is really tasty? I don't want to share my tasty ice cream. <gasps> well, let's see. Let's see how, uh, let's see how um, Gerald, did I call him Harold? It's Gerald. <laughs> let's see how Gerald handles it. Okay, here we go. Should I share my ice cream? Okay. Ice cream, get your cold ice cream for a hot day. Oh boy, ice cream. One ice cream, please. Here you go. So there's his ice cream. Oh boy, oh boy, I love ice cream. What flavor do you think his ice cream is? What color? Hmm. It's like a green color. It could be mint or it could be <gasps> pistachio. I doubt you kids like pistachio, but it is so delicious. <gasps> Wait! Piggy loves ice cream too. Oh, oh no, his friend Piggy loves ice cream. Piggy is my best friend. Should I share my ice cream with her? Should I share my awesome, yummy, super sweet, great, tasty, nice, cool ice cream? It doesn't sound like he wants to share, does he? Hmm. 
Can you think with me? Let's think. Hmm. Maybe Piggy doesn't like this flavor. Sharing a flavor that Piggy doesn't like would be wrong. I will eat the ice cream! <gasps> Gerald, you're not gonna share? We're not gonna share, Gerald? <gasps> Wait, Piggy will like this flavor. It is very yummy! I will share my ice cream. <gasps> What's that? Can we see? Is the ice cream, <gasps> is the ice cream melting? <gasps> because, because what is ice cream? What is it? It's ice, it's cold. But if it's hot outside, <gasps> it'll start to drip. It will not be easy to share my ice cream. Oh no, look, does Gerald notice? Gerald, your ice cream is melting! He can't hear us. Hey, Piggy is not here. She does not know that I have ice cream. Hmm. I will eat the ice cream! Where is Piggy though? See, he wants to eat the ice cream, but now he's worried about his friend. What if she is sad somewhere, all alone? Uh-oh, look at his ice cream, guys. <gasps> oh no! I must find her! And look, this is what Gerald is thinking. This is his thought bubble, you see? So he's thinking he'll bring her the ice cream, and when I do, I will say, would you like some of my ice cream? And then she will say, thank you, that would cheer me up. Then I will give her my ice cream to share. Yum. And this is him thinking about sharing. Then my best friend will be happy. And they'll have ice cream together. I will do it. I will share my... <gasps> Ice cream? Eww! Oh my gosh, it dropped and it melted! No! His ice cream fell! Now Piggy cannot have any of my ice cream! Now I cannot have any of my ice cream! Oh no, that's tragic! Oh, you see him crying? Oh no! I blew it, he says. <laughs> Who's that? That's Piggy! What is Piggy holding? Does Piggy have ice cream? Did Piggy have the same idea? You look sad. Would you like some of my ice cream? <gasps> Thank you, that would cheer me up, says Gerald. Yum, 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 yum. Look. <gasps> that was not my plan, says Gerald. Oh well, this works too. They both ended up sharing ice cream. The end. Great job, everyone. Wow, that must have been really hard for Gerald. That's so sad. He had his ice cream and he was so excited to eat it. And he waited too long and it melted away. But luckily, he had a friend that would share with him. Okay, guys, great job. So, now we're going to do a pretend game. We are going to pretend that we own our very own bakery. Our own bakery donut shop. That is so cool, guys. Let's look at our donuts that we have for sale. Okay, what kind of donuts do we have? What kind of sweets do we have? We have, what color donut is this? A green donut, a blue donut, 
a pink donut, a purple donut, a yellow donut. Can we guess what, what flavor they are based on the colors? What might green be? Hmm, it could be mint, it could be matcha. What about blue? What flavor could blue be? Hmm, maybe blueberry, yeah? What about pink? What flavor could pink be? Oh, what flavor could it be? Maybe strawberry is a pink? What flavor might our purple donut be? Ooh, that's a little harder. Maybe a grape flavor? Grapes are purple. What flavor might our yellow donut be? What flavor is yellow? Lemon? Lemon's a great flavor. Okay, so this is our, our bakery. We are gonna scoot our donuts a little bit. We're gonna scoot them. So we have our very own bakery shop and now we're gonna sell some donuts. But who are our customers going to be? Hmm, we're gonna have a rhyme that helps us with our donuts, okay? It's called, down around the corner at the bakery shop, five little donuts with frosting on top, okay? Can you chant and clap with me? Down around the corner at the bakery shop, okay? Here's what we're gonna do. We have to get some customers in our bakery, okay? Here's how it goes. Clap with me. Down around the corner at the bakery shop. Five little donuts with frosting on top. Along came, who's gonna be our first customer? <gasps> a horse! Along came a horse, nay! Along came a horse. Hungry for a treat, she picked. Which flavor donut did she pick? She picked the blue one to take home and eat. Thank you, bye. Gallop, 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 and she gallops away. Great job, we sold our first donut. Now how many donuts do we have left in our shop? One, two, three, four donuts left, okay? Can we get ready to clap again? One, two, three. Down around the corner at the bakery shop, four little donuts with frosting on top. Along came a cow, moo. Hungry for a treat. She picked, what color? She picked the green one to take home and eat. Moo, thanks for the donut. Bye bye cow, great job. We sold two donuts. How many donuts left in our bakery shop? Hmm, one, two, three donuts in our bakery shop left. Okay, here we go. We have to get more customers in our bakery shop, okay? Here we go. Down around the corner in the bakery shop, three little donuts with frosting on top. Along came a pig, oink, oink, oink. Hungry for a treat. The pig picked the yellow one to take home and eat. Thank you, oink, 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 oink. Up she goes. Great job. We have, how many donuts do we have left in our shop? One, two donuts left. Here we go. Down around the corner in the bakery shop, Two little donuts with frosting on top. Along came a sheep. Bah! Hungry for a treat. The sheep picked the purple one to take home and eat. 
Bye. Thank you. Okay, we only have, how many left do we have in our shop? One. Okay, we, it's time for our last customer of the day. Down around the corner in the bakery shop, one little donut with frosting on top. Along came a, a dog. Bark, 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 bark. Hungry for a treat. The dog picked the pink one to take home and eat. Burp, 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 burp. Thank you. Bye bye dog. Great job guys. We sold all of our donuts in our bakery shop today. You did a great job. Okay guys. It is almost time for our goodbye song. Don't forget to stop by the Lawrenceburg Public Library and we can give you our amazing C is for cupcake craft. You can make your very own cool cupcake just with some glue and we have some foam craft. And, oh, and you need some scissors to, to cut it out. Um, but yeah, it'll be very fun. Okay guys, it's time for our goodbye song. Are you ready? Just follow after me. Here we go. One, two, three. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to me. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Now, really quiet, okay? Can we sing really quiet? Really quiet, like there's a baby. We don't want to wake up. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to me. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Okay, now sing loud enough. Pretend you're gonna wake up the baby. Can you sing really loud? Really loud. Are you ready? <laughs> goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to me. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye! Thank you for joining us at Storytime today. I can't wait to see you again. Happy birthday, Riley! Bye!